All right, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, uh, this is the uh, new improved Duke's flagship. Uh, oh wait, that's not it. Hold on, Let's see here. There we go. Here's the new and improved Duke's flagship. Oh no, man down. Man down. <laughs> All right. Intro aside, let's uh, let's open her up here. So. Let me take you through a little walk through here. Slow it down. This little beauty is uh, auto hover. Okay, just like any of my other quadcopters in the other uh, flagships that I've made in the Super Freighter. Uh, it's got uh, the cannons on the left and the right, just like this guy. Everything is exactly one to one ratio. Now, in exploring this, I don't know if you can see, this side is a little bit closer. In this side, whoever <laughs> designed these things, wasn't really paying attention, they just kind of threw it together real quick. So if you made it uh, perfectly um, exactly like this, it would definitely not fly very well. So uh, I took a couple of small liberties, you won't be able to tell really any other differences. Um, all of these are the exact same angles, every single one of these. Even the paneling, the way all the paneling is on here, uh, I've duplicated as close as I can get uh, with what we have in Siege. So again, all the cannons are at the, the same angles, all these are the same distances, even the offset little uh, exhaust uh, ports, the smokestacks here, same angles and everything there. Uh, I've kept it pretty simple, there's only a couple of skins that you need to use. The portholes and these, that's one skin, Midas, uh, Midas Touch, that's, um, that's another thing. Uh, and then I also added a couple uh, little skids here, so if we um, speed it back up right before the fins kick in, the skids bounce it off the ground, but as you can see, it just hovers perfectly right there. So there's no other gizmos or gadgets that are attached to it, it's exactly as is. It's only um, 344 pieces right now, so uh, pretty easy to play in multiplayer with some other people uh, if they've got a good machine or server. Uh, controls are really easy, the same flight controls I typically use that are very ergonomic. I, J, K, L, that's up, down, left, right. Rolling, we have U and O, right above the J and L. Okay. Um, you can roll all the way to the left and it will automatically auto hover out. It won't tip a roll, I can do a kind of a crazy maneuver and then just let go. It auto hovers all by itself very quickly. So, it's very well balanced. Uh, as you can see, I just uh, used some little steam engines in the back, just like my other, just like my other guys. Uh, it, uh, it has that little boost there. I tried not to make it too fast. I think it's somewhere around 150 miles per hour maximum, but uh, just realistically fast for what I view the game as uh, as normal. Um, we have. Let's test out the cannons. So, Left cannon, right cannon. I recommend putting on uh, right here. Uh, uh, infinite ammo and uh, explosive ammo. The other thing is we have some cannons right in the front. So if I uh, let's see, let's take out this guy here. Let's not take let's side cannon him. There we go. Uh, let's take out that far guy over there. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to use these cannons take you through a couple of the camera views here. So this is the pilot seat. Pretty cool, huh? You got the cannons down there, just offset. You can see what you're doing. Just aim. Bloop. It's got pretty good uh, range to it and not uh, too much um, kickback so that it just throws your machine off kilter. You, uh, you can kind of account for that. So the other, uh, the other view is a bomb bay door view. And I can just go, let's poke this guy with the bay door. Front door. Cargo. So it's got little locks in there that open and close. I'll show you something about that later. Uh, but you can fit uh, little machines in there, carry whatever you want. It carries about 50 pounds safely. Um, any more than that, and I have to use my other variant, which I'll also put out workshop soon. 
the uh, new Super Freighter 2018. Um, so the other thing is a this is the uh, bomb view. So if I wanted to, uh, let's actually let's take it over to uh, Sandbox here. Huh? Take to the sandbox. Uh, this is the little bomb bay door here. I press the down arrow. Uh, well, let's so left arrow is that, right arrow is that. Those are the controls. Up arrow, boom, boom, boom. Okay, you got some little smokestacks that uh, actually shoot fire. Uh, let's cruise on over to uh, to this lovely little village and wreak some havoc. I cycle through my my uh, pilot views with P right next to the O on the keyboard, so it's pretty easy to grab while you're uh, controlling it. Um, all you have to do is just generally center kind of what you're doing. You can even be flying pretty fast. Uh, just hold the down arrow. It's going to open the bay um, just like this. Let's see. Just like that. And then if you press up, it's going to close it. Okay. So just a couple uh, redundant um, keys uh, just to keep it simple so you're not having to press a thousand. Uh, the other cool thing you can do <laughs> is um, when we open the front door, this is the uh, brackets, so open bracket and close bracket. Uh, we'll go into the bay here. And let's just uh, eat up this thing. So little grabbers on the top that are meant for the doorway actually can grab some other stuff too. So again, pretty, pretty well balanced, pretty powerful machine. Let's just take this. It's not letting me <laughs> rotate very well. Come on. Let's take it over here and put this on. Let's replace this statue here. Yeah, close enough. So, uh, yeah, that's this is the new flagship. Uh, Duke is definitely riding in style. I went away from the uh, all the little colored things um, like my, the red and gray and all that sort of stuff. I just wanted to try and keep it simple so that everyone um, doesn't have to have a you know, thousand skins downloaded. But uh, that's uh, that's it. Again, one to one ratio. Took me uh, took me a while to uh, to iron everything out, just all the little kinks and making it really well balanced and trying to figure out how many different mechanisms I want to actually put on here because I had a tow cable and a bunch of other goofy stuff so I could beat every level but I uh, I decided against that because there's way too many controls um, uh, and then just added too much complexity so I'll come out with different variants uh, feel free to um, to add any comments about what you'd like to see from some of these variants uh, I, I am have uh, going to be coming out with a, another super freighter uh, that's going to be for lifting carrying stuff so you can uh, um, carry other people's tanks and all that good stuff uh, from place to place. Um, and, uh, oh, <laughs> I completely forgot. All right. So let's drop here. So again, these, got these little skids here just to uh, uh, absorb the little impact when we're landing. If you press the backspace button, it enters pirate ship mode. So now you're basically just sliding along the ground, and press backspace, it will enter pirate ship mode, and uh, you can just toot around like this, just skidding along the ground, firing your little cannons. that. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, thanks again, guys, and uh, I will see you next time I create something.